Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how we can push and how we can pull the images into the Docker Hub repository. And also we will try to see the authentication also. So normally what I want to tell you is whenever you want to pull the image, whether it is a public image or a private image. So whether you want means so there is nothing but what you will be using is the Docker Hub registry. So if I try to show you this Docker Hub registry, so this is the hub.docker.com. And here are all the repositories. If you try to see the repositories, right now I don't have any repositories in my account. So if you want to explore means you can click on the explore and you can download the any public repository. So you need to understand that for downloading or pulling the public repository or the public image, there is no need for authentication. But if you want to push a public image means then you want to have an authentication. In the same scenario, if it is a private repository means if you want to pull the image or if you want to push the image must and should you need to be authenticated. So this is the basic funda you need to understand. So right now I will be downloading only the public image. So there is no need for me to authenticate. So just you will try to search for a public image. So nginx, so I will try to search for the nginx. So this is the image which we are trying to download all the time in our videos. So let's try to do it. So if I click on this one, so here you will be able to see this is the image. Now in order to pull this one, so I will be using docker pull nginx. So here you will be opening into this one so not this so we are opening the mobile XTEM, right so this is the thing and we will be using all the docker image related things i will be using with the command docker image space why because in the latest version of the docker so all the commands are categorized if you are working with the containers means then you need to use docker space container if you are working with the image related means then you need to use docker space image space and the commands and if you are working with the volume related means then you need to use the docker volume so like that the, the commands are categorized in old version of the docker if you are trying to see it somewhere else, somewhere else means so you will be able to have something like docker pull and docker run like that you will be having so that is a old version of the commands in the latest version of the commands means so the commands are categorized so right now we are working with the image related things then we need to use docker image and we need to pull the we need to use the pull command and we need to use nginx followed by the tag name so whenever you, if you don't provide any tag name means then the latest will be downloaded from the uh, into the local system from the docker hub. So if you pro, if you want to have a particular version or the tag means then you need to use the particular version uh, version number or the tag number. So here I am not using any tag number that means the default one will be the latest the latest will be downloaded. If I try to click on this one pull. Now it is trying to use the default tag as latest why because we haven't mentioned anything the tag name and it is trying to pull from the library slash nginx so here it is trying to pull from the library slash nginx now it is extracting one by one so that means so there will be four phases one is downloading extracting and the another one will be the download and af afterwards it will be downloaded so now you will be able to see this is the digest key so this is the particular version which is given think of it like a version it is created in the local system and here the status is it has downloaded the newer image that is nothing but nginx latest and it is saved in the path that is nothing but docker.io slash library slash nginx latest and we are able to see the prompt and if you want to see whether the image has been downloaded or not means so you can use the command docker image ls so here the repository nginx has been created and this is the latest and this is the image id which has been created and here if you try to see this one is been created three days ago so don't think that just like the container which when we create when we try to pull the nginx so the created will be the same time so that means a few seconds ago so this created means which the latest one has been uploaded in the docker hub so you need to think it like this so the latest one which has been uploaded in the docker hub and the size as usual it is 188 mp and here this one is three days ago means so the latest one which has been downloaded so here you will be able to see if i go back so uploaded latest will be three days ago something like that okay so updated two days ago here you'll be able to see it right so that is the that is the thing which you will be able to see it here oh not this one move back step yeah so now we have pulled the image fine right so now we have pulled the image so if you want to check all the commands related to this one means so you need to use docker image and if you press enter you will be able to see all the commands that are related to the image the first one will be the build so we will be trying to see when we are trying to learn about the docker file so in our upcoming videos we will try to learn it about this docker file 
and you will know about the history of an image particular image i have shown you this one also so these are all the things you will come when you are trying to build the image load ls prune pull push so right now in this video we will deal with only this pull push rm you already know if you want to remove an image you can use it and save if you want to save one or more image tag means you want to create a tag so if you want to remove an image means directly you can use docker image rm and you can give the image so now if i try to click on this one automatically the image will be deleted so if i try to check docker image ls so nothing is there so if you try to check it nothing will be there so like this if you want to delete a particular image means you can delete it now if i want to pull it means docker image pull nginx that's it so now it will be pulling the latest one so by default it will be using the latest one so if you want to have a particular version let's say 1.2 7.0 so that is a version some version nginx will be having so if you want to have a particular version that one means so you can also provide that uh, tag name also so i will try to show you it is uh, downloading so after downloading i will try to pull an nginx which is having a specific tag name so here for example if i want to do it means docker image pull nginx 1.27.0 so now if i try to press enter automatically the docker so it, it is it has downloaded the another version so if i for checking that one so you can check it docker image ls so now if i try to press here yeah docker image ls now you will be able to see this one okay so now we have see we, we are able to see two version of uh, two nginx images or repositories we technically we call it as a repositories one is latest and another one is 1.27.0 okay so like this you can have as many tags you want you can download it the particular tags so now in order to authenticate okay in order to authenticate into the docker so what we will be using is the docker login okay so this is the command which you will be using so authenticating with the existing credentials it will try to do it already it has been uh, logged in so i will try to log out okay i will show you this login and logout thing also so now if i want to log in with uh, with our uh, we want to log in means why why because if you want to pull the images or if you want to push the images means first we need to log in or otherwise we cannot uh, push it so for example let's say that docker image push sorry docker image push why i am writing spelling mistakes docker image push nginx hyphen latest if i want to push it means so if you want to check it so it is trying to push it now it will tell that authentication failed so it will tell you that see denied request to access in other unauthorized authentication is required so that means you need to be authenticated in order to push the nginx so that can that can that may be any repository so now here so for authentication thing what you need to do so we need to use docker login then it will ask you by default it will try to take the authentication from the hub.docker.com so if you want to have a particular thing means you can give the uh, azure or microsoft if you want means you can give that repository name also you can give it the registry name also by default it is having uh, by default it, is, it will authenticate from the hub.docker.com so we know the user we have already registered with in the sorry we have already registered in our hub.docker.com the same email id you will try to give it and the password also you will give that is nothing but uh, my password which i am trying to give it now automatically it will be logged in so you will be able to see that login succeeded and your password will be stored in unencrypted in the home slash test user dot docker config dot json file so your password will be saved in this file so right now whatever the user you are having test user right so whatever the user you are having so in the same user so if you try to check who am i so this is the test user so in this test user home directory it will be stored so if you try to check in the present working directory see home slash test user and a hidden folder doc docker will be created if it is not there means already it will be created if it is already present means it will use that file so in the dot docker if you try to check dot docker and you will be able to see a config.json file will be created if you try to check this config.json file what are the commands or otherwise you will be having sorry config.json file if you try to see see here you will be able to see for this docker.io you are having an authentication so you need to be very careful about this auth we should not share to this one to anybody else why because if they anybody has this authentication created means so if you if you share this file to anybody means so they can already they can automatically log in with your credentials so that's why we need to be very very careful with this file so don't share to this one uh, this file to anyone so that's what i want to say now what what i am trying to say it is
if you see the permissions for this one ls dot docker okay hyphen l so you'll be able to see there is only a read write person only uh, read write permissions will be uh, is allocated only for the user not for the group and the and the others anonymous so only for the owner read write permissions has only been given this is also one thing you need to understand so don't give any read or write permissions to anybody else other than the owner so that is one thing so if you try to log out so directly you can press on the log out docker log out automatically it will be removing the credentials for this index.docker.io and if you try to check the cat dot docker slash config dot json automatically the authentication for that particular has been removed so in this way you can log in and you can log out and i will try to show you how the authentication things we can push the repositories into our account i will try to show you you know in the next video so this is how we will be dealing with the images and the authentication thing hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you